monstrous black holes, rapidly rotating pulsars, enormous nebulae, the various objects and structures in the gigantic expanses of the universe are as fascinating as they are bizarre. While many of these unique astronomical formations are identified with regularity and studied in detail, other outgrowths of the cosmos have always posed grand galactic mysteries, among them in particular, the legendary white holes. The riddle around these enthralling objects stems above all from the fact that experts have not yet been able to prove their existence. Why the hypothetical formations nevertheless play an important role in the world of astronomy, and which breathtaking theories some researchers recently put forward about the true influence of white holes, we'll show you in today's video. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. Feel free to show us you like the content of our posts with a thumbs up. White Holes – A Brief Overview As is well known, black holes are astronomical entities whose intrinsic masses are concentrated into extremely small volumes. This natural, incomparable compactness generates such a strong gravitation in their immediate areas that no form of information, not even light, can cross the event horizon of a black hole from the inside to the outside. In other words, this means that anything that comes within the sphere of influence of one of these gravity monsters is irretrievably swallowed up. You might say that white holes are the exact cosmic opposite of black holes. Consequently, this means that the hypothetical objects incessantly eject mass, making it impossible to pass their event horizon from the outside to the inside. For this to be accomplished, a velocity higher than the speed of light would be required. Thereby, the theoretical existence of white holes results from possible mathematical solutions for the equations of the general relativity theory. However, the circumstance does not necessarily mean that white holes actually exist. As already mentioned at the beginning, researchers have so far failed to provide clear evidence for the existence of these entities. While white holes and black holes differ from each other in terms of their gravitational characteristics, they have one fundamental thing in common the so-called singularity in the center. In the world of astronomy, singularity refers to places where gravity is so strong that the curvature of space-time diverges there, or in simple terms, it's infinite. When it comes to the properties of white holes and their formation mechanisms, different theories exist. One assumption is that they are in fact black holes, which run in the opposite direction to the time axis. Not less exciting is the thesis that white and black holes can form wormholes together. Matter which is swallowed by a black hole would be ejected again from a white hole through a galactic exit in a completely different part of the universe, both spatially and temporally. What's more, some experts consider it conceivable that the very birth of the universe could be regarded as a white hole. Was the Big Bang a white hole? According to our current knowledge, the Big Bang occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. Contrary to the first assumption, this process was not a gigantic explosion where components of the cosmos were hurled into an already existing space. Rather, it means the common emergence of space, time, and matter from an original singularity. And indeed, some scientists suppose that just that birth of our galactic home is to be traced back to the effects of a white hole. Among other things that support this idea, there is the fact that the models agree with the laws of the cosmological principle. These laws say that the universe is built homogeneously and isotropically, presenting itself the same to the observer, independently of his point of view and observation direction. In other words, we cannot exclude that the universe itself is a very large white hole. However, we cannot confirm this thesis with certainty either. If it's true, it would still take many billions of years before the edge of this cosmic sphere would come into view. White holes could help to increase our knowledge considerably, not only with respect to the Big Bang, but also with respect to another great astronomical puzzle, specifically the exact composition of ominous dark matter, a postulated form of matter that helps explain the motion of visible matter in the standard model of cosmology. If we take a closer look 
look at galaxies, we see that stars orbit the visible center of their cosmic home much faster than would be expected from the gravitational pull of the celestial bodies and the dust and gas clouds. Although dark matter plays a not inconsiderable role in the spectacles of the universe, its existence is neither visible nor directly proven. Researchers suppose that not even 5% of the matter in the universe is visible. The proportion of dark matter is put at 23%, while dark energy, an equally hypothetical form of energy that can be used to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe, accounts for 72%. Some Spanish experts recently put forward the new theory that it may be microscopic white holes that make up the mysterious dark matter. Mysterious Dark Matter If one follows the gravitation law and Kepler's third law, then the orbital velocity of stars should decrease the farther these are from the center of their ancestral galaxy. This has the background that visible matter is concentrated inward. However, reality shows that the corresponding orbital velocities of the glaringly bright celestial bodies remain the same or even increase with increasing distance from the galaxy core. This unexpected circumstance thus suggests the pressing conclusion that some form of mass exists that is responsible for these effects, namely dark matter. Matter. The aforementioned study by the Spanish researchers ultimately concludes that tiny white holes could account for a not insignificant amount of dark matter. At this point, things get a bit theoretical. The local density of dark matter, which is derived from the motion of stars near our Sun, amounts to about 1% of the Sun's mass per cubic parsec. The astronomical length measure parsec corresponds again to about 20 trillion miles. In order to transfer the derived density of dark matter to the field of white holes, experts calculated that one microscopic white hole is needed per 2400 cubic miles. The corresponding structures would be much smaller than a proton and weigh just one millionth of a gram. However, since the white holes in question do not emit any measurable radiation, they would be practically invisible to our terrestrial measuring instruments, according to the scientists. If a proton were to hit one of these tiny structures, it would simply bounce off it due to the characteristic properties of white holes. The collision between a black hole and one of these small white holes would in turn produce an even more massive black hole. But the groundbreaking explanations of the experts do not end there. As already mentioned, some researchers consider it conceivable that the Big Bang itself can be regarded as a white hole, or at least as a consequence of its existence. The new theories now say that some white holes could have been formed even before the Big Bang. Accordingly, future investigations should help to explain why time in the universe only flows forward and not also backwards. Have we discovered a white hole? Should the experts one day succeed in proving the existence of white holes incontestably, this would mean a significant astronomical milestone. While the majority of researchers currently agree that this proof has yet to be provided, others suspect that we already observed the effects of a white hole 15 years ago. In fact, NASA's SWIFT satellite registered an unusually intense gamma-ray burst in 2006, which did not correspond at all to known events of this kind. The burst lasted for a remarkable 102 seconds. The usual time span is at most 30 seconds. No less puzzling was the fact that the emission could not be associated with a stellar explosion. In fact, the gamma ray burst took place in a galaxy where there are almost no stars that could produce such strong emissions. So it seems as if the burst had appeared practically out of nowhere. Some years later, some scientists theorized that the cause of the gamma ray emission could have been a white hole. The reason for this is that the event in question had the characteristics that we would typically expect from a white hole, a huge, unstable emission of energy and matter that disappears again shortly after its occurrence. Although it cannot be officially ruled out that it was indeed a white hole that caused the much publicized 2006 outburst, researchers' models to date have not been able to provide a conclusive explanation. And this despite the fact that the event has been eyed by many space telescopes since its discovery. Ultimately, scientists can say only one thing with last certainty. They were confronted at that time with a phenomenon which they had never seen before. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the fascinating white holes and the fundamental role they play in the universe? We're already looking forward to your comments. Want to see more exciting videos about the groundbreaking discoveries and unique spectacles in space? Then click now on one of the images in the credits to get to the other contributions on our channel. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.